Today is May 20th, 2022. It is a Friday and I'm going to start modeling this bottle in Blender only because um, it's something I know that I can do and I need to go to sleep because it's currently 3 a.m. So yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to do general. I'm going to do add and turn on my shortcuts. This is not something that's automatically in Blender. You're going to have to download that. Um, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do vertical split and I'm going to just move it over here and then over here I'm going to go to editor type and go to image editor and I'm going to go to open and then I'm going to try to find the image that I downloaded which should be somewhere here in downloads if okay I'm gonna I promise that I'm going to get to it I'm going to get to clean this up I had it all cleaned up but now it's just so much okay right there so this is the bottle that we're trying to replicate so I'm going to start over here okay so I'm going to go to front view by clicking the button under the escape and then clicking front. Um, if you have a numpad, you can just click um, numpad 7. If you have a laptop and you don't have a numpad on your keyboard, um, you could just go to edit preferences, input, and then turn on emulate numpad. Actually, turn off. Wait, 7? Yeah, you have to turn it on. Emulate numpad and then, yeah, turn it on. Okay. So yeah, um, so those are a few different options. Okay, so front view, right? So I'm gonna start by doing control two to apply a subdivision. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, edit preferences, turn off the emulate numpad so that I could actually use my modifiers. Okay, control two to add a subdivision, um, uh, yeah, subdivision modifier, which is over here, subdivision surface modifier, basically smooths out the curves. Um, and then I'm going to go into edit mode by clicking on tab and then I'm going to go to face select top left over here um, And I'm going to turn on our x-ray toggle top right over here You can do that by doing alt C and you can do face select by clicking three only if you are in only if emulate numpad is Off so emulate numpad has to be off and then you can click on three for face select two for edge select one for vertex select so i'm gonna click on three and then i'm going to hmm when i select this face i'm just going to press g to grab it so i just grab it and then to grab it in a certain axis that i want i'm going to press z for z so the z axis is the blue one i'm just going to enlarge it um and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a control r for a loop cut i'm going to put that all the way up and do another one and put that all the way down so it looks kind of like a cylinder and then I'm going to basically place a loop cut so control R wherever I kind of see there's a curve and then I'm going to use S to scale it like a little bit like that but before doing that I might as well do a little bit more so maybe I'll do one over here somewhere like over here and then one over here and then maybe if I scale that a little bit, a bit better um, only problem is let me go to front view um, if I look at it this way probably kind of like that so you take just select so make sure toggle x-ray is on so you select everything um you could do <laughs> oh my god my friend just texted me okay um okay um i can't focus right now <laughs> oh my god Okay, anyway, okay, okay, focus, focus. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so face select, um, face, like, just do this, right? Top, top part, whatever. And then use S to scale inwards. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll do, I'll select this face up here. And I'll just grab it. And it's going in all the directions. So if I wanted to go up, I'm going to do Z, so it goes up on the Z axis. And then to kind of fix um, this rounded edge over here, I'll just do Control R again and just put it all the way up like that. Um, I think it's too, let me see, it's like too large. So what I'll do is I'll actually do another Control, a loop cut here. Where did it go? Um, and another one kind of over here. And then I'll do two for edge select and edge select this edge. 
um, and it's going to only select one. So if you want to select all of the edges, then I'll do Alt and then select the edge, and that will do the trick. Go back to front view so we can see clearly. Kind of scale something like that, but I don't want it to be ugly. So maybe I'll scale all of this up, kind of like that, right? But Alt Z has to be on. Remember that, so that everything goes proportionally, kind of like this. You know what? What if I just do these two? But then this one looks weird. And then this one looks weird too. Built this side like that. And then we could do possibly another control. Boop, 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 boop. I did not mean that. Control R. Where did it go? Okay, kind of like that. Something like this. And maybe just select the top part over here. Just do something like that. So we have something looking like this. And then to do the cap, um, oh my god, I hate this part. Actually, I love this part because it's the most challenging, and I love challenges. So, I just, it's just tedious, that's what I mean by it. I don't hate this part. Anyway, um, I do see little bumps, but we're not going to go into that. Um, for the cap, oh, I don't know, what do I want to do? Do I want to make it separate? I think I want to make it separate, or maybe I don't want to make it separate. So three... Face select, oh, face select this one. Maybe I'll do I to inset, and then I'll probably extrude. I don't think that would work. Maybe if I scale kind of like that, but that would look weird. If I extrude upwards. Okay, if I extrude on the Z. I like that and then I'll just make sure that that's my cap so um, I'll do control R here at the bottom and then I'll select this and maybe here's the problem so I'll do another control R and I'll select that loop and do that ew and then I'll do control R kind of over here create right, another one over here, and then another one in what the heck, and another one in between. So, by the way, I'm pressing um, Control Z to get rid of my mistakes if I accidentally press something. That is not looking right. Okay, and then there should be another Control R over here, and then the rest should be like that. But then it should kind of be straight, so it should be kind of like that. And then maybe I don't like that, so how about I go to front view and select this and just grab it downwards on the Z. That's weird. Um, does that look good enough to you? Does that look good? I don't know, I can't tell. And there's more indents on the side. What I can do though is I can add a modifier, I can add a bevel modifier little things over here. Right, right, right. Oh, I should have done, I should have made it a separate object. See? Whoa. Oh my god, you're kidding me. It looks like a milk carton. I think that's one of, that's what, that was one of the photos. Interesting. Well, I don't really want that. Anyway, I'm gonna do. Con I mean, right click, shade smooth in object mode, and I think that's it. So now to materials, right? So for materials, we are gonna go to material preview. Before doing that, oh my god, I should have saved it because what if it crashes? Like it always does. So Control S to save and we're gonna as I always do I'm going to give it the name of the date so 5 2022 save blender file all right so I'm also gonna apply on the subdivision modifier by doing control a um, and if that doesn't work you could just do over here on the toggle and just click apply all right now that everything is fine real quick I'm gonna do control a to apply the scale um, oh, is that the same? 
can I apply? Never mind, whatever. So we're gonna select this and we're gonna go to material properties. We're gonna do, uh, what am I doing? Like literally, okay, now it's frozen. Great, you stick. So you make one mistake and it freezes. Okay, it's for the surface, instead of principal BSDF, we're gonna go to glass BSDF. And we're gonna turn the IQR all the way down. I mean the roughness all the way down, excuse me. And then ignore this. You're supposed to go here to render properties and click on cycles. Um, and then if you go to render, you can see that it's transparent. If you were to have it on easy, it wouldn't be transparent because um, it would, I mean it would, but it would be just like, it would be weird. Like the, you see obviously that the lighting isn't realistic. Um, but the cycles, well, easy, easy cheats its way into lighting. So it's kind of like, but you can't really, it's not transparent. Like you don't really see the transparency. Well, if you go to cycles, you do see transparency. Well, we'll see that in one second. So I'm going to do a take out of the I'm going to do mesh and a plane. I'm going to scale. What did I do? What did I do? Where's the plane? Whoa, bro. Okay. Shift A. Maybe I should just put a material prop. Material. What do you call it? Solid view? Solid mode? Motor view. Solid mode. Shift A. Mesh. Plane. Scale it. Press 5. So S and then 5. Edit mode. Um, 2 for edge select or top right here. Edge select. I mean top left. Jesus Christ. Edge select the one in the back. Actually, let me see. Where's front view? Okay. So go to front view and then yeah. The one in the back. And then click on E to extrude. And then it's going all the way all around and I want it to extrude upwards. So I'm just going to click on this edge. So it extrudes on this edge. And then I'm going to do probably like eight. I'm going to leave that as it is. And then what I'll do is I'll go to modifiers and I'll add a bevel there. So that it looks kind of like that. And then do right click shade smooth so it looks like that. And then I'll actually scale it on the X so it looks like that. That's very nice. I'm going to do control A to apply the bevel. And then I should probably turn on snapping the face. Do G, Z, so it snaps the face that's not on the bottom. Um, probably then going to just grab this um, edge at the top and just do G, Z to move it upwards on the z-axis. Turn off snapping. If I go into, actually, let me go real quick and pick a color in my favorite color website. Colors. Palette generator. <clears throat> All right, ew, these colors are ugly. No, no, no. Mm, no, I did this one already. Maybe this one I did green. No, I have done blue. I did blue already. Mm, maybe this one. Let's see. So go to material properties, click on new base color, go to hex, and then just paste that color in there. And then if you go to cycles, you'll see the color there. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's beautiful. Um, and yeah, that's basically what we just did. Um, the only thing is, if I go to render, light paths, go down to direct lighting, change that to 4, indirect lighting, change that to 1, go down to material properties, did I mess up? Oh, that's the point. I was like, why does it have a thing? 1.4. Interesting. So to make it like nicer, I'm going to turn this into a sun and do five because the sun's power is really, really crazy. I'm going to go to top view to help me with this. I'm going to go to solid to, so it can be better. So I'll just click R to rotate. I'll do shift D and then just do R to rotate the sun so we can have something like that. 
on the this on the x axis by clicking x and then rotate it like that and then do shift d and then pull it over here and rotate it like this and then probably move it gy so it's like that rotate it nice oh only problem is the top is actually black so we're gonna have to make that its own prep um own material so what i'll do is i'll go to front view and make sure your alt z you select alt z so your toggle is on and i'll try my best to select this top thing what will happen okay and once you select that um click on p by selection and this should and then go um, click on tab, turn off your um, toggle by doing Alt-Z, and then once you click on it, you can see that it's its own object now, and then we're going to do top. Um, this is bottom. So this is not top, but the cap, I think is a better word for it. Now, what might happen is, if you change the color of the cap, it might change the color, or give a color to the bottle, and so in order to prevent that, you want to go to object, relations and then go to make single user and do um i usually just do uh honestly i just I, either one of these works but i always go with the safer option so object and data and materials to make it it's completely like own object um and then i'll go here and go and give it a principal bsdf and change it to the color black because that's how it is over here. And if we go to circles, we can see that it is black. And I think that is amazing. All right, so now I'm going to get rid of this editor type by joining the areas, clicking this way. And then I'm going to set up my camera. I'm actually going to do one more thing. I'm gonna select this um, backdrop and I'm gonna scale it on the X a little bit more and maybe scale it on the Y a little bit more and move it on the Y, kind of like that. Okay, go back to cycles, go to front view, um, and then I'll do something a little bit like this to kind of set up my camera um, to the view that I want it to be. I'll go to edit preferences and turn on my emulate numpad because I have a keyboard that doesn't have a numpad, so yeah. Um, so in order to use my camera, I have to turn that on. Okay, I think that's nice. Eh, it's still not in the center. Okay, that's good. So control alt zero, right? Um for your numpad, control alt numpad zero. And then um 